among the many pictures there of me and Whitney, there's a picture of Whitney and Carlos Santana and me together. And the career that Whitney had, the tragically premature ending, the heights that we reached, the records that we broke, seven number one records in a row, first two albums, each sold over 22 million worldwide. We had an incredible partnership. I spoke at her funeral, I just spoke at her memorial on TV. I write in depth about our life together. Carlos Santana, maybe the fourth artist I have assigned in my life, where we experienced at the beginning Oya Kamavar, black magic woman in evil ways. And then you got to fast forward 24 years. I see him at Radio City Music Hall at his request, and I decide to re-sign. I'll find half the album, I'll find songs from artists that feel him, writers that, where he will not be anything artificial, but will bring out, because he had not had a hit in all these years since we were together. And he would do the other half, pure Santana material, that he felt that he would come up with. That was the blueprint that we made in my bungalow when we decided to reunite. So here you've got Whitney, certainly the biggest new artist commercially that I had ever signed from scratch, and you have Santana. I did that from scratch, but then to prove the point, to be an inspiration to musicians, you can have a career in your 50s, 60s, if you're great, if you stay great, if you keep your virtuosity intact. 